So we talked about the challenges or the biggest challenge that we've had so far here. So now I want to talk about your favorite thing or like the thing that you've liked so the many. most. Yeah. Okay. I'll go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay. <laughs> so one of my favorite things is you have so many opportunities to travel here, especially if you're a teacher, you get vacation time, which is really good. You right get now we're on vacation. Eight days in the summer and then 10 days in the winter vacation paid. It's awesome. So that's really good. Also, I find that, you know, there's a lot of countries near here. Mm. So you can go to Thailand, you can go to Bali, you can go to Taiwan, Japan for pretty cheap flights and stay. and. That's pretty good. That's probably one of my favorite things about, I haven't traveled yet, but <laughs> I have been planning. Upcoming. It's upcoming. upcoming. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably one of my favorite things about Korea. And also there's just like beauty stores and there's a lot of good shopping. <laughs> and Awesome. Yeah, just a lot of that. Awesome. Yeah. So my favorite thing kind of to take away what she said, I like the people that I've met so far. Like I've met a lot of cool people from many all different over places. The world. Yeah, people mm -hmm. from England, people also fellow Americans, people from Canada, people from South Africa, Australia. And it's really good because you all have a common connection. Like you all want to come here exactly. and teach and make, and that you get along because of because of that big reason because you're all here to do something amazing and travel. Exactly. And everyone's really outgoing because that's the kind of personality that you have when exactly. you Exactly. Like if you come here, you know, kind of like closed off, maybe a little closed minded or you're just maybe like very shy. I think once you come do something like this, you open your world. Yeah, you open, <laughs> spread your wings. I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously, like it's just, you know, it makes you more outgoing and more, I think, more friendly. Get you out of your shell. Yeah, and more open to meet other people. So kind of going off what she said um, with the traveling and my new friends. So this is both together. Um, a couple of my new friends were going to Bali together in August for the summer vacation and I'm gonna do a bit of surfing there, a bit of hiking, so I'm super excited about that and I've, it's always been some place that I've always wanted to go because it just looks so beautiful and amazing. So um, And a lot of people on their honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. We're not gonna be on our honeymoon, but we'll be, uh, we'll be checking out the beach scene and everything that it has to offer. So. Pretty pumped about that, but yeah, it's it's an amazing thing to come to a new country, travel, and just meet new friends. All right, so now I just want to talk about like what we want to do after, or kind of like our um, our plans. Me out. <laughs> yeah, right. Our plans after teaching here. Like I I'm planning on maybe just doing one year here because it's a one year contract. Um, I signed the contract in uh, February of 2016 and then it ends February 2017 and at the I think it's around the six month mark you mm -hmm. can decide to stay stay or do two years do another year which is really good because one of the main reasons another reason that people do this is to save money and you can make pretty good money and living is pretty cheap epic hooks you up with a free apartment which is sweet and um, yeah so that's one reason people come here to save money and travel things like that but uh, I think I'm just gonna do one year, Just that's just what I wanna do, but other people plan on doing two years, which I think could be awesome too, like the financial benefits of that are seem you know to be really good. So yeah, what do you think about what you're gonna do? Well, I know a lot of people stay like six, seven years because the benefits <laughs> are just so good. Or, or they, something or happens. Or they meet someone and they yeah. get married. Yeah. It's very common here. I met a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm engaged. I'm like, you're what? Yeah, yeah engaged. <laughs> but oh. I think I... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay two years because it's been such a long time coming and one year isn't enough for me I think mm. two years would suffice and that's probably the max for me and then afterwards I want to get you know I want to do <laughs> like I know we're still I thinking do. about it we're all, we're still thinking we're, yeah about we're it. still it's not if, what do I want to it's say? up in the air Hold on. <laughs> give me 30 seconds so after this, I want to get a job in, you know, being a journal. I went to school for journalism, and I do want to be a journalist still, whether it is at an online platform or a magazine, which would be great. But you know, magazines are dying, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll online, see where, where that goes. Online content, yeah. yeah. But I still do want to be a journalist. I want to be an ed editor. That's kind of my main goal eventually. 
and I want to build up my blog as well as my YouTube channel and hopefully that could take me somewhere and give me, you know, and provide me some opportunities. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I don't, it's kind of with the flow. It's yeah. just, it's, like, it's just life, years. man. <laughs> it's just life. There's so many positions that opening up, are opening up. Mm. Say social media is such a big example of that. And five years ago, it wasn't a thing. Now, yeah. getting a job in Twitter, Instagram, it's, it's such a huge, huge thing. So there's so many huge. so many opportunities that are not even available yet that could be available in two years that I don't even know about. You can't anticipate. Yeah. Exactly. So I think that's the exciting thing about it. <laughs> it's the exciting thing about that. You can't anticipate these things. And mm -hmm. kind of going off what she said, I'm really interested in... You know, maybe just doing one year here, maybe moving on. I want to travel around Southeast Asia for a while. It's really cheap to travel and I want to just continue making videos. Uh, like she talked about growing her YouTube channel. That's something that I really want to do. Something that I'm really interested in is it's something called digital nomad or digital nomading. And what is that? I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's, this, uh, it's actually on the up, uh, upswing right now. It's basically people that have a business, website, usually a blog, or maybe for me, hopefully it would be making films, uh, being a filmmaker, but you can work and live not always in one place. Like you could have oh, a home- so you can like travel and work. Exactly, you can have a home base somewhere, obviously if you want, but you can travel and go to different places and earn money with something online or an online business. So maybe for me, I just, you know, I want to keep making YouTube videos. Maybe an opportunity will come out of that where I can make videos, make travel videos and just travel around and earn money, you know, remotely, like from different that's places. That's That's cool. Yes. I think that's where the future's going. Everything's online. Exactly. So there are a lot of people doing it right now. Maybe to, you know, to someone that hasn't heard about this or maybe to the older generation, they just don't think that's possible. But it is, it is. because people are doing it right now. Yeah. And I've been following people on YouTube that do this. So that's something that I'm very interested in, and who knows if I'll actually want to do that when I get to that point. Mm -hmm. But things change. And yeah. You have to have an open mind. Too. Exactly. You have to have an open mind and and be able to kind of like switch your trajectory switch or like direction based on that. So I know that, but as of right now, I'm very interested in doing um, pursuing the digital nomad lifestyle type thing. Um, been doing a lot of research, listening to podcasts, and watching videos about it. So. We'll see where that takes me, um, but you that's... You have to follow us to see where we go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? yeah. all right, well, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Uh, it was cool to talk to you guys and give you a bit about, um, you know, our experience in Korea. Hopefully it educates you, and if you have any questions, you can always comment in the comments below. He'll answer. <laughs> exactly, yeah, you can comment, you can like the video, maybe share it with people. And, um, yeah. and if you want to follow our adventures, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yes, also exactly. Also, be in the down bar below. Yes, connected to my YouTube <laughs> channel right on the main screen there. All right, thanks for watching, guys.